welcome back to Love and Romance Tarot Readings. I'm excited to get into today's pick a card. Today we're going to see your next surprise in love. Who is going to come in, sweep you off your feet? Who is going to come in, take you by surprise? What is coming in unexpectedly? That is our pick a card today. So yeah, my Etsy shop is in the description. If you'd like a private tarot reading, that is where you can find me. Other than that, pause the video if you need more time with the piles. You can always pick more than one pile. We have group one with the yellow stone. Group two with the red stone. Group three with the white stone. And group four with the blue stone. So like I said, pause the video if you need more time with the piles, but we're just gonna get started. All right, if you chose group one with the yellow stone, this is your reading. We're using the Tarot of the Divine for you today, and we're going to see your next surprise in love. What, who is going to come in, surprise you. Spirit, this is for group one with the yellow stone. Show us their next surprise. What is their next surprise in love for group one? Ooh. I see some communication with someone who you've kind of been waiting to come around. Um, we have secret affair in progress. So there's like an energy of you finally getting past this need to like keep everything secret about what's going on in your love life, whether this is about who it's with, if you have notoriety or they have notoriety, or you have like a close family sense system, friend group, you don't you didn't want to expose yourself. I see you actually being in a position where you're having progress with something that has been like low key, something that started off as a sneaky link. It feels like, you know, both parties have caught feelings. We have thin line in messages. So this person is reaching out, reaching out to break the ice, reaching out to fix what has happened um, because there may have been like an argument or a blow up. There's an energy of this person feeling like, okay, if I'm going to go out, I'm not going to go out this way. Like that was crazy. It feels like two people that started off as friends with benefits or low key getting to know each other, a lot of flirtation between them developed into like, you know, uh, offline situation where you were seeing each other. It does feel like it was like a physical kind of thing. And then maybe it was jealousy. Maybe, you know, you got frustrated with things, you know, being on a low. We got the play a player card. So maybe you did think you were okay with like friends with benefits situation or, you know, something that started off as that, but you're like, nah, like they're really a player out here. Like they're really like this. This is not a one-off. So you're like, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> do you think you're about to game me? Or do you think like, you know, it became a thin line. Somebody, somebody had got upset in this connection and energy is fluid. This could be vice versa. This could be on their end, of course, as well. Um, so something you may have done may have really set them off. We have the stubborn card that just wanted to come out and there's a bolt on it giving me Taurus energy. One of your Venus placement in your chart may be in Taurus um, or your Mercury. This would definitely show up in how you communicate. <clears throat> hmm. Interesting. Your next surprise in love is someone coming back from the past that said they wanted just like a, you know, sensual kind of relationship. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying. And they're coming back around and I don't know, like I'm not getting that they have completely changed. What I'm getting though is they don't feel comfortable in the way things ended. We have play a play and waiting. So this seems like someone that you had been waiting for or that had been waiting for you. Maybe one of you were in a relationship or weren't in a position to date for whatever reason. Um, we have spiritual base. 
this person may have been freaked out by that as well. If it was a spiritual based connection and they're getting all sorts of angel numbers and, and synchronicities and they're not used to that, that's one thing that can set them off. That's one thing that can make someone flee. Uh, we have spiritual based in editing. So yeah, that's what I see. You know, to be honest, this person is coming back. They want a second chance. They want to actually try. Something about this feels like I didn't even invest myself. If we're keeping it a buck, like something on their end, it feels like they know that they didn't really try. So like this is the first time that they would actually be trying. That's the truth. Like that's the way that they see it. So I feel like you also would have to accept like whether or not, you know, you can accept that fact, like what they're saying, like they didn't really try before <clears throat> or whatever had happened in the past. Um, but yeah, that's what I see. I see this person coming in and they want to try. And I feel like that's what's surprising to you is the fact that it's like them of all people. This person feels like they were a commitment foe before or super rigid in their desires and beliefs and what they wanted. It feels like someone who's used to one-sided connections or having their way. This person feels spoiled. <clears throat> oh, we have the bewitch card that just came out. So maybe you guys had a glow up. Um, bewitched, it says, entranced, I put a spell on you, infatuated. So... This person is all of a sudden really interesting and it appears the way that they're coming in, it feels energetic. It's like, it's kind of got you wondering like what's literally gotten into this person, literally, as if it's a spirit. Cause it's like, they really are bewitched and coming back in such a different energy. It's like night and day. And again, I feel like that's what's the surprising aspect that this person of all people, the person who was like, no, no, no to commitment before a player, wanted to have their options, maybe even made you jealous at some point or did something like to hurt you or put you in your place to show you they have options or something like that. Like someone who really took it there is coming back and they're bewitched, obsessed. Like it's very, it's very like, what the heck? Totally taking you off guard. Um, we got the pick a card. It says take a risk, multiple love offers, uh-oh, and gamble. So, you guys, <laughs> and I expected that to be honest. I, I kind of had that feeling in the beginning of your reading. I'm like, this person, it's so funny because energetically the way their energy came through was almost like the energy of someone trying to cut a line. And I, as I pull more cards, I'm understanding them, but they have a very pushy energy. They're like the kind of person who will get you to agree to doing something by like quickly asking you really unexpected um, because I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll go with it. I'll read on what's coming out. But like, I don't, I don't know. I just had this weird feeling like this reading was not supposed to be for you, whoever this person is. I'm like... Yo, we're tapping into who's going to surprise you, and I totally expected a different energy for you, group one. Like, something more romantic and traditional for whatever reason, and this person, like, they're energetically just, like, sideswiped. <clears throat> Ugh, I hope they don't do that to you on the regular. If they do, you definitely need to get a cord cutting done. You could do it yourself or have someone else do it for you. Um, I can do a cord cutting for you. Uh, all that's on my Etsy shop. But, um... No, ma'am. I don't. <laughs> I hope they don't do that to you like in the physical. Um, we have played for a fool in love at first bite. Played for a fool says string along, no commitment, taking advantage of. Love at first bite says immediate connection, desire, and love struck. I feel like a lot of people are feeling this love at first bite energy with you. You're you're showing up very attractive, very like you look very hot. I don't know what it is. It's kind of like Bro, even when you're walking past people in the gym, your pheromones are like bewitching people. Like very much so, I don't even know what's going on with you, but a lot of magnetism and attraction right now. <clears throat> Someone's been embracing dark feminine magnetism. Someone's just been embracing their darkness in general and really taking it there in their mind and allowing them to think whatever they really feel in the moment and allowing themselves to have their own opinions and you've unleashed yourself because it's made you not able to be controlled by anyone 
<clears throat> we have the world card and the three of cups here. Let's see what's going on. Spirit, their next surprise in love. Well, to be honest, this person may be next, but if they are not really talking what they need to be talking, if they're not showing up properly, <clears throat> it depends on where you are personally. Like if you are in an empowered space, um, some of you may choose to ignore them, but I'm like, yo, you could really get chewed out because if you've had a glow up, it's like mind, body, and soul. When you work on one of them, it triggers the other ones. So if you've been having some sort of physical glow up, best believe the mental glow up is also up leveled. And you may not want to comment this new person. The old version is not here anymore. They may be in for a rude awakening. We have the tower in reverse. So it looks like you guys are pretty much avoiding drama. It almost appears that you're a little unbothered, not going to lie, because we have the page of coins and the three of coins. <laughs> so you're so open to like newness, new investments, new love. <laughs> you're listening to this person, but you're like ignoring them, laughing on the inside. Like nothing they're saying is affecting you right now. You're just literally showing up in this energy where you're unbothered. Three of coins is like, you're really in sync with the universe. Page of coins, you're open to new things. And I just feel like they're catching you at such the wrong time. Like you're not even on that old timeline anymore to accept their offer. It's very much so cut and dry for you. So most of you are not going to get invested. Some of you may unleash your wrath, specifically those of you who have been, the, been in this like dark feminine goddess energy, eat your heart out like it's giving, I don't know, Jennifer's body. Um, especially, you know, it, it, it may be, it may go down. But we have the tower in reverse. <clears throat> so either way, I'm not seeing long lasting effects on you for whatever happens here. Seven of Swords and the Eight of Wands, to be honest, I see you just kind of getting out of there and swerving out of this situation. So I do see, you know, someone of your past coming in with a message, multiple messages. They may be blowing you up as well, trying to love bomb you, showing up at your house with gifts, trying to take you on dates, trying to smooth talk you, like pulling all the stops. I see someone being really charming. But because you're on a new timeline, it, it's like you're you're looking at this person and you're you're kind of got a smirk on your face and it's like you're amused at how badly they're trying, but you're so far gone from that situation or that timeline or this person, it's just not in you anymore to I don't know, it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like something you're upset about. It doesn't feel like something you feel any type of way about. You're open to new page of coins, projects, opportunities, new love, ace of wands, moving into your creative space, tapping into your own magnetism, your own creative power as well. Um, creating a new narrative, doing something new. It's like, you know what? I don't like that storyline, so I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to get on and I didn't like that timeline. I'm literally going to get on a new one. And it's one of those freaky moments where you just leaned in to the intuitive nudge that told you this was an opportunity for you and you took that opportunity. It came up in your mind, we can switch timelines right now. We can switch a new story right now. We don't have to deal with anything on that old timeline. We can completely change right now. You accepted it, you accepted that, and immediately something switched. And it's like, these are the these are the people that write books and then they teach that as like a like you know you know what I mean and then they teach it and then it works for some people and it doesn't work for some people and it's just like no it's so much more than a technique it's like you just felt it in your spirit you honored it you knew it and instantly it just happened instant manifestation that is really cool I don't know if that's like a, a spiritual gift kind of thing <clears throat> Or what? I know a lot of people have been getting a lot of powerful downloads and cool things happening. Um, we have Judgment and the Four of Cups here. Ooh. Yeah, you're choosing you, period. Quick at the quick.
Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I absolutely love that. You're choosing you. I'm going to pull and see if there's anyone else that does want to come up today. Maybe there's just um, no one showing up quite yet. But I do want to see if, Spirit, we can switch gears a bit here. Is there any other option? This one... I think that they finagled their way into this. They finessed their way into this reading, um, like forcefully. We have confidence and the tempter. So spirit is saying, don't you worry. Absolutely. Have confidence. Continue to build that confidence. Continue to go within. You're just attracting people closer and closer and closer to you. But with this tempter, yeah, this person is, is coming through and it does feel very much so like tornado energy. Like this person is a, a mess. They just come in and I do feel like they kind of mess up people's heads or their lives. Like they do that to a lot of people, I feel like, or they've done that, you know, to at least a few people. And <clears throat> we have squeaky clean. So I see you doing things the right way. We have Ask a Friend and Confession. So, hmm, I feel like there's someone brewing. Um, but with you being in an energy where you're on this new timeline, you may be quantum leaping. Like, I'm getting, you know those, like, um, bars, like, at the park that you can swing across, like, vines? I'm, I'm seeing that as spirits showing me this is the way that group one is moving. So you're still kind of moving through the timelines, trying to pick the one you really want, because now that you've accepted it and now that you know that you can quantum leap in this way, you're going for the gold. You still don't feel like you found your thing or your place. So you're very much so conscious, very much so in the driver's seat. With confessions and ask a friend, I do feel like someone's going to be coming in um, obviously outside of this person we already know about that is coming in to let you know that they already liked you, but it just kind of feels like one of those people that, you know, people years later, they slide into your DMs and they're like, you know what, why didn't we ever talk? And in your head, it's like, because I never wanted you like that. <laughs> but you be like in the DM, like, I don't know why we didn't. And then it's like no response after that. It feels kind of like that where it's like just one of those people that see your glow up and I don't know, maybe they had something else going on, a to and fro in their head about you. It just feels very, it's just a confession. Like it's nothing like I'm not picking up on spirits saying like, oh, and it's going to be in a relationship. So we have ask your friend. I do feel like one of your friends will convince you to go out with them just so you can kind of feel good again. Um, I just heard coworker. You may be bonding with a new coworker, and you guys are going out. I just heard for someone. I'm called to pull one of these for you, Spirit. Can I get any other messages for Group One? <clears throat> we have Freya with phases and cycles. It says there is a new beginning within every ending. Illusions are revealed and released. So again, it's just like you can see straight through this person. So it's not something that you're even thinking about too deeply. It's like it is what it is, you know. <laughs> you missed me. You missed, you know, the opportunity. Other than that, though, I feel like you're going to have to ground yourself somewhere a bit longer. Um, and this doesn't mean physically, just like energetically as well, knowing where your life is going or what you're about to do, continuing to figure yourself out before you'll call someone in that's like super aligned to be long term. In the meantime, I see you kind of just opening yourself up to what other people have to offer. So we shall see. Maybe someone will really come in and surprise you and love you down. Um, but we have Melchizedek with higher learning. It says you have learned from experience. More inner study is now required to further progress. So yeah, you're still learning about something. You're still diving into something. It feels like a book, like maybe you're reading a book that's supposed to help you spiritually. Um, but I feel like you know that you're not completely stocked or where you want to be. Um, and then we have Kali Ma with Facing Fear. It says major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. So you know that beyond love, there's another opportunity or timeline that you're kind of facing right now. 
and I feel like you're choosing that and you're choosing you before you're choosing anyone. And if someone comes in and they wow you and they do what they're supposed to do, then yeah, they'll probably be able to move forward and proceed. But your energy is so freaking powerful right now. It's kind of hard to match you with someone, to be honest, because you do get less options. But we know as spiritualists that it's quality over quantity. But that is something that's kind of hard for people to experience or accept in the beginning. So just be aware. Yeah, things may be a little slower, but it is for your best good. Um, and you're really in your power. So yeah, that's what I got for you, Group 1. That is your next surprise in love. My Etsy shop is in the description. If you'd like a private tarot reading, that is where you can find me. But that is what I got for you today. I'll talk to you soon. All right, if you chose group two with the red stone, this is your reading. We're using the modern witch tarot as your deck today. And we're gonna see your next surprise in love spirit. This is for group two, group two with the red stone. Show us their next surprise in love. Oh, goodness, those flew out with a passion. Spirit. Gosh, why are your cards flying out like that? We have the messages card. This person may be overcome by emotions, and that may be what's... This could be very spur of the moment. It does feel a little bit like a movie. It does the way it came out because we have distance and distrust. So this could be someone that was emotionally distant with you, obviously physically distant from you. Um, someone who wouldn't let you in emotionally. Someone who just wouldn't explain things to you. And it's like, no, it's not that I can't accept what you're saying. It's that I need to understand what you're saying. And they just would not accept the reasoning why you needed them to explain it, communicate with you better. Uh, for some of you, this could be someone that you broke up with because they were at a distance. Maybe they moved, you moved, or uh, you were in an LDR, long distance relationship, and it didn't work out. Yeah, distance and distrust. Long, I always say long distance relationships are not for the weak. If you're not a very emotionally mature person, I seriously don't even try it because the love, that's, those are the type of connections that show you like, oh, the love doesn't get you all the way to the finish line because they can just get so real. Um, but we have the distrust card here. So it feels like the reason why this long distance relationship didn't work out is because there was distrust. Maybe this person wouldn't open up to you emotionally because they didn't trust you. They didn't feel, feel like they knew you enough. Uh, maybe you wouldn't surrender to a relationship with this person because they were at a distance and you just didn't feel comfortable. You didn't feel like this is someone you can trust to be in a long distance relationship with. But we have forgiveness, birth, and messages. And like I said, you know, these cards really, these ones specifically, these two and the messages card like flew out. So this person is overwhelmed with their emotions really needing to get this off of their chest and that's what makes it feel like a movie because it's like one of those moments where they're catching you as you're about to leave there was an airplane that went by just a moment ago so maybe there is some sort of like i mean maybe you're leaving soon maybe this person didn't open up to you because they knew you were leaving soon as well if you had been planning a move or in some sort of situation where you knew your living situation was going to change um, but it's like, yeah, they're like reaching out with the messages card and they have to let you know how they feel. Um, and we have forgiveness. I feel like you're resonating and you're understanding and you're allowing yourself to hear them. Um, maybe it's the just sheer vulnerability that does it for you. Um, but yeah, I do see a birth coming from this. I do see you, you know, moving forward at the bottom of the birth card. It says a new beginning in love. So that's definitely taking you by surprise. The secret affair card that came out. Hmm. 
Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, my goodness. A lo another card talking about long distance. We have the distance card that already came out, and then we have specifically long distance. Um, what's up with this, though? We have Just Desserts and Secret Affair. I mean, we did have the forgiveness card, so this person may have done something to you, but Spirit is kind of letting you know, like, they've already gotten their Just Desserts for maybe the Secret Affair. Um, or maybe they've already seen, like, how shutting you out or keeping things to themselves, not being trusting of you, hasn't worked in their favor. Um, we have balance. So it appears that they're showing up in a place where they're very balance-centered, feeling confident, feeling like this can work, regardless of the balance. Spirit, their next surprise in love for group two. <clears throat> We have equal give and equal take. And then we have rose colored that came out. Synergy, reciprocation, effort being met. Rose colored says honeymoon stage, blinded by love, can be short sighted. But I feel like it's worth it to see where things go. You know, maybe this person can't maintain a, a long distance relationship. Maybe you can't maintain a long distance relationship. Maybe you won't end up being each other's, you know, forever. But I do feel like you both deserve to try because I feel like whenever you experienced each other before or tried before, someone was not allowing themselves to fully go there with you. And energy is fluid. This could be vice versa. This could be you. Maybe you wouldn't open up to them. Maybe you were mirroring each other. We have love at first bite. It says immediate connection, desire, and love struck. So now that this person <laughs> is finally tapping in and leaning in, they're like rabid now. It's like putting them in like, you're, you're seeing all this effort and energy coming from them and it's like freaking you out. It's like, okay, calm down. I'm not going anywhere. Um, cause now that they're, now that they've decided in their head what they're doing and that they're really wanting to try, um, they're like sure of it. So all of their energy and focus is now being channeled in your direction. Whereas in the past, whatever it else that it was that, you know, took priority over you, whether it's their career, whether it's another person, whether it's their singlehood, whether it's their freedom, da, da, da that was getting their energy attention. So it's it's very intense having all of that on you now. But it kind of feels like either be the beginning, um, how it was in the beginning, or it feels like you're starting for the first time. It feels like now this is real. Like maybe they knew what it was like to have your love, but you didn't really know what it was like to have their love. And you're now experiencing that. And it's very mind blowing. I'm also hearing mind-blowing O's, so there's that. We have lust, um, sensually attracted, passion, seduction. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, I see you guys obsessed with each other, and I see you building from here. We have the mo uh, the mad scientist and no you hang up. So you guys are actually very kissy-kissy and kind of gross with each other now. It's like now that you're both leaning into it, it's just like you're, you know, licking your fingers like it's candy. Like this connection feels so different. It tastes so good. I just heard it tastes like cherry. I don't know what that's from. Maybe that's from a song. Um... But we have the mad scientist. It says dating the same type of person. Maybe that's the kind of chapstick you got on. You got your cherry chapstick? You got your cherry chapstick on right now, group two? Okay, Katy Perry. No, I'm playing. Um, the mad scientist, it says dating the same type of person, expecting different results, testing something new. So yeah, I see you guys turning over a new leaf. The energy you're getting from them is very different today. The way that they're showing up is very different. You're seeing them when they're all in, when they're committed, when they're in love, when they're allowing themselves to experience love and be in love and all of that. And honestly, I see you eating it up. <laughs> no, you hang up says late night combos, texting all day, open communication. 
So I see the communication flowing, the connection building. We have what are we in phase shift. So I also see you clarifying like the nature of the connection. I feel like you'll end up getting committed to this person if you choose to accept their offer. What I can say is they're coming in. Like I said, it looks like rabid. Like they're so sure and crazy about it. And they're so excited. And it's a lot. It's very intense um, to see this person in this way. Um, so it'll, it'll be up to you, you know, maybe you'll decide in time. Like I said, it kind of feels like because one or, or both of you, one or both of you were like struggling to really be real and present, didn't feel like they were really giving or trying really. Like I said, there was that energy of feeling like, you know, they were trying for the first time now. Um, so whether it was just them or both of you. You're just going to see what, you know, what happens here. Uh, but I see both of you kind of feeling genuine towards each other. So it's not like something that gives you a bunch of anxiety. It's not something that you feel like you're doing alone. They're very much so matching your energy and wanting this. Uh, what are we says no official title. Uh, don't know where you stand needing more communication phase shift says the next stage of the relationship strengthening the bond and vitality. So your relationship, your connection is getting stronger. There's a lot of lust building here as well. Maybe it's the distance if you are at a distance between each other. And now someone may be regretting like not exploring things in that way with you, not kissing you more, having you more um, when they could. Wow, we got the lover's card. We have the knight of swords and the two of wands. And then the lover's. Three of Cups in reverse. Yeah, no exceptions. If there was some sort of secret affair that they, you know, were in, they're going to have to prove their undying loyalty to you seriously. Like, we have the lovers in Three of Cups in reverse. So there is an energy of you being a little cold to them and really set on making sure that they're committed, committed. If it's not commitment, I don't feel like you'll choose them. We have the Knight of Swords and the Two of Wands. So you are moving moving forward and you're communicating what it is that you need and what it is that you're about. Um, but Two of Wands is an energy of still being on the fence. So it's like, I'm not a ride or die. Like, I'm riding as long as we're moving in a healthy direction, as long as you're driving like you have some sense. But if you start switching and swerving lanes and looking at other folks... I'm not writing anymore. <laughs> like you're choosing you. So I feel like you'll be entertaining this, seeing where it goes. Yeah, Page of Wands, it's like, I'm intrigued. I'm interested. I'm willing to see where it goes. And that's what I'm going to do. But we have a fortune in reverse. I don't have the rose colored glasses in, on anymore. I'm not magical thinking. I'm being very real about this and what's going on and what we have here. And what I should do, you're staying grounded in your, you know, conscious mind, you're staying grounded in your values, what you really want for yourself, you're being conscious about it. That for some of you is very new, maybe you were very much so like the cool girl, the cool guy, go with the flow, or just had a throat shocker block, couldn't communicate with people what it is you're about or what you wanted. Um, so yeah. Now this is very different. That's something they're going to have to get used to as well. It's like, okay, one thing to be excited and want to go in, but moving forward in a relationship, it's not even just about that. It's like, can we communicate? Can you really handle, you know, this version of me? Because if you're not, you know, quiet as a mouse anymore, that may really throw them. So... You're seeing where it goes. We have the Hierophant in reverse and the Devil card. So to be honest, it's like this could be really good or this could be really bad. That's how this feels. That's how, you know, you're kind of looking at it like, okay, I'm 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 down to see. Yeah, I know this doesn't make sense or I know like it looks kind of crazy and this is unexpected, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to stick beside him. Like that's just what feels right to you in your spirit and you're honoring that and that in itself is honorable group too. So many people are run by society, their family, they don't honor what's in their spirit. So as long as you don't post it on social media, what is there to be embarrassed about? You've got to live life for you at the end of the day, because this could be really good. This could be your forever partner here. Are you not going to engage in it just because of what the next person thinks? Who cares? Just don't tell nobody. <laughs> That's the thing. Like So many people be telling on themselves. And it's like, if you really were to have just been quiet and just kept that 
what is with the over I have never felt the need to overshare anyways I guess that's not true I used to be overshare a little bit a little 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 bit like in high school but we have the death card in reverse and the six of swords so that's clearly an energy of you moving forward with this person I'm just gonna check real quick to see if there's anyone else coming through to surprise you this of course will be very surprising and I see you giving this a super committed go to be honest so it's like, okay, if they don't end up being able to sustain a relationship with you, then of course you'll open yourself up to date other people. But I do feel you giving this like your full energy, attention, like your full, you're really trying. It's not a game for you. It's not just something to see. Yeah, and what is that about this being a forbidden fruit? Was this person married or something? Were they in a relationship or something? Because why is there this like guilt or maybe not guilt, but just this energy of like, this is forbidden. I really shouldn't do this. Is this like your ex's best friend or something? <laughs> we have lucky and love and forbidden fruit. And it's like, I keep seeing that little glimmers of this like forbidden energy in your spread like the devil card I, I gave that a pass I'm like okay well I can see why you would feel very much so like this is a huge risk it's long distance da, da, da. you had a you know rocky pass with them especially if you saw that they could you know be a play playboy playgirl and you know talk to other people like I could okay yeah I see the devil but it's like we're getting a forbidden fruit energy and I'm not trying to you know violate your business or whatever but it's looking like it's some tea here for some of y'all the truth will be revealed no <laughs> um but yeah i feel like it's a little teaful for some of you hmm. <laughs> hmm. i feel like someone else wants to come back as well um you guys kind of have like this line forming this line forming for you and I see that because you're in this eight energy you may be seeing 808 818 because you're in this energy of power you may be in an eight year numerologically you can calculate what year you're in by your your birthday but um because you're in your power it's like no one can really overstep because you're showing up so present and knowing what it is that you want so the line is forming but you know until you're available they're they're not able to proceed so I don't feel like anyone will come in yeah we have too many cooks in the kitchen kind of bouncing out I don't feel like you like being confused or like you're being chased by a bunch of people at once or like there's a bunch of commotion you may associate a bunch of commotion with a red flag like if there's too much going on or too much excitement, maybe you're just more stoic. You don't really like people or you don't like being pursued like in a hyper masculine kind of way. Maybe it's your distrust or your full investment in this relationship. But no, I don't feel like anyone can really approach you at this time. I don't see anyone really approaching you. I see people wanting to, but I also see you trying to do right by this connection and trying to give it like your your full um your full attention this is so funny we have the reunion card so this is someone from the past as well and that's exactly the energy that I got too I'm like this also feels like someone that you know <laughs> so yeah you may be you know I don't know why this is happening for you right now I'm like some of you maybe you're going through like a uh, something transiting your natal making all of these people from the past coming back it feels bigger than retrograde it's like something else something else like going on in your in your chart but we have sure uh, show love you're worth love and positive thinking so for the most part you're in you know good spirits you're in a good mind state you feel confident about what it is that you're doing you have some doubts about whether or not it'll be able to be sustainable but you're still trying and you know that you're worth love and you're allowing yourself to be open with just this one for now so like I said, there's a line forming. If you ever decide, you know what? Nope, this ain't the person for me. I'm not going to do it with this person. Another one will come through I'm within weeks, like quick. And it'll likely be someone that you also still know.
We have Green Tara with Supreme Protection, Commander Ashtar with a call to action, and El Moria with an awakening presence. Green Tara says you are protected, cords are being uh, cut, move beyond limitation and trust. So your angels, your guides, they're supporting you moving forward and trying with this person. And they're also protecting you at this time. They let you, they're letting you know, like, listen, I got your back. Don't be afraid. I know you don't trust this person. And there's been some third party stuff, you know, in the past, but I got you. We have Commander Ashtar with a call to action. So your guides are saying, but remember why you're here. Don't allow yourself to get complacent. Find the answers. Is this the person for you or not? Because time will still go on and not choosing something is still choosing something. You'll wake up one day and next thing you know, you're married, you know, to this person and unhappy. So um, it says, take charge, lead by example and walk your talk. Okay, group two, you're being called to walk it like I'm talking. Walk it like I'm talking. You're being called to show this is what I'm about. Um, and then the last one says the universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. So make sure you're, you got your protection amulet or whatever crystals you use for protection. Keep those on you. Remain focused. Remain in love. Allow yourself to be fair, generous, and kind. Don't get out of, you know, character for people, but make sure you're getting the answers that you need. Make sure you're being intentional. And that's what I got for you. My Etsy shop is in the description. If you'd like a private tarot reading, that is where you can find me. I also offer custom spell work, manifestation candles, all sorts of stuff on there. Um, but that is what I have for you today. I'll talk to you soon. All right, if you chose group three with the white stone, this is your reading. We're using the Gilded Tarot royale for you and we're gonna see what is your next surprise in love bottom of the deck we got the two of cups okay it's a good start spirit for group three group three with the white stone show us their next surprise in love <clears throat> I feel like spirit's been getting you prepared for something. I feel like spirit's really been working with you when it comes to your vulnerability and what you accept and like lack mindset because this very much so feels like the moment, like the moment you've been waiting for. We even have the secret events card. So up until recently, spirit has still been kind of keeping you out of the loop as to what's been going on. Um, your next surprise in love is someone coming through with serious intention, with serious intentions. And it does feel long term, something that could be, you know, forever if you wanted to with the success card at the bottom of the success, it says dreams come true. But yeah, we got secret events at the bottom of that one. It says private happening. So spirit has been keeping it low key. Spirit has not been letting you know the plan. There's probably been changes in the plan. Some moments where even more than left out you felt like okay spirit are you just trying to play in my face no but things may have been rocky up until this point so I'm glad to see that you guys are finally having your moment I'm glad to see that you know you have someone coming in with serious intentions and it's also bringing up this success energy where it's like you guys could build on each other and be successful together um, but also this has the propensity to be a successful connection, one that makes it all the way to the altar if that's what, you know, your goal is. But yeah, spirit's been keeping it under wraps. We have low standards and surface level. So if I had to say what it was, spirit's really been working with you on for the last year. Ultimately, it kind of boils down to vulnerability and authenticity, allowing yourself to be in the position where you can actually connect with someone but that takes vulnerability and you know showing your cards and letting them know who you really are what you expect you know that does take you know real real commitment to potentially losing out and then we also have surface level um so you may have you know dated people but never really allowed them to get to know you or maybe you've haven't really been able to break out of the talking stage or like a surface level type of connection. You're seeking more of a deep connection. We have the thin line card, you know, and you know the saying, there's a thin line between love and hate. 
uh, we have thin line and baggage. So to be honest, it looks like you may have invested your time, your energy, your attention, your affection into someone who has a lot of baggage and honestly didn't even have the ability to commit to you or love you properly. Um, and it's like it started off as really intense passion and love probably because you were excited and really feeling that connection with them. But it feels like it ended toxic, you know, and maybe this person even, you know, did something to hurt you. Um, we have distrust and confidence. So... Regardless of the past, I still see that you want to move forward. Um, your confidence has been building, but you're trying to protect yourself. You're trying to avoid magical thinking. And that means that even when it comes to like, oh, spirit has some you know, someone planned for me, you don't allow yourself to even get too magical about any narrative, even if it's, you know, that one, the one that people say is right or acceptable. You've just been kind of trying to be present in the moment, live your life, trying to raise your standards, allow yourself to be vulnerable so you can break past a surface level connection allow yourself to show up and just be yourself. Um, some of you may not have been able to break past the surface level of a connection because you were putting on, you know, trying to appear as someone who you feel like they would be attracted to or want to move forward with, but you weren't really showing them you. So to be honest, I feel like you'll start over with someone new. Um, and with all the wisdom that, you know, your past connections taught you. And that's the thing. It was never going to be them. It was never supposed to be them because you're coming into balance right now. Like I said, spirit has been getting you prepared. So to be honest, like, I mean, you could have made it them. But I don't feel like spirit ever brought, you know, this person in your life who taught you a lot of lessons and helped you go grow a lot. I don't feel like they were ever, like, really supposed to be like your final stop, you know, your forever person. So we have the balance card, which is good. I see your mental health getting better. And your next surprise in love is going to be someone coming in with serious intentions. You'll likely get in a relationship with this person with that success card coming out. That's letting me know that you're getting what you want. But in the meantime, this secret events energy, I feel like that is very much so still the energy that you're in. So just know like, yeah, I can, I can pick up on it even just doing a reading. Like you're not probably getting the same dreams or synchronicities or downloads and messages. And it's like, are you cutting me off spirit spiritually? Like how come I'm not getting my regular, <laughs> you know, what's going on? Um, and I feel that too. So it's intentional. Just know you're not broken. Your dreams will come back if they've disappeared or you had some sort of spiritual gift that's not active at all. Or, you know, if you um, read cards for yourself or anything and you cannot get a clear answer from your guides, it's, it's intentional, but it's not going to go away completely. Your gifts will come back once spirit, you know, has connected you, gotten you where you're supposed to be so that you stay where you need to be so this can manifest. So Spirit's keeping you out of the loop a little bit. Let's see what else. Spirit. <clears throat> mm. We have rosy. We have rose colored. And then we have thin. Rosie says flirting, compliments, and joking. Rose colored says honeymoon stage, blinding by blinded by love and can be short-sighted and Finn says the need to move on relationship lifeless no post credits movie is over so there's definitely an A's or an era that's a phase or an era that's ended and to be honest allow yourself to feel how you feel about that too because some of you are having a hard time finding yourself again because maybe you were this like Neptunian dreamy kind of person for so long where you've been very romantic you know very Piscean very Libran um, in your head or in your own world in your own fantasy and that version of you that vibe the way that you would literally hang out in your room do your own thing okay smoke some drink some like just have your your personal time like that's also changing I don't feel like it was a coping mechanism but I do just feel like that was your habit 
at the time. And, you know, it can be very dysregulating to stop anything. And they say not to stop certain things cold turkey. So be careful, you know, allow yourself to pull back your, your energy slowly but surely. But I do see that you're open. But it's just kind of bittersweet because there's still something here. With I felt like this was talking about someone specific with the low standards and surface level, there is someone that you did wish you did open up to and maybe now they're in another relationship or there's some sort of like concrete reason why it won't work now. Like maybe you're out of contact or this person moved or something. Like it feels like there's some reason, bigger reason why that can't be anymore, but you wish you did. You wish you knew this information sooner or you wish you, you know, got into the space that you were in sooner but again I feel like they're they're the reason that spirit put them in your life like in the first place was to you know teach you what you learned so it's just it's bittersweet it feels like and the two of cups is soulmate energy and that is infamous with soulmate connections it's like they're it, they're an easy way for spirit to get us to agree to upgrades and growth because Attach all of that to a hottie. Attach all that to some good. <laughs> It'll have the strongest of soldiers just folding. So the human aspect in me is like, man, I've been through this before. And it stings. But I'm glad to see that you're op optimistic. Um, with the rosy card, it said flirting, compliments, and joking. So you seem to be in good spirits. having a good time flirting for the most part it does appear that you've healed yeah I just wanted one more and then we have love at first bite uh, this one says an immediate connection desire and love struck so it does look like you are immediately excited about this person um, it's love at first sight and I feel like, uh, you're in such good spirits because this person is such a like breath of fresh air. It makes it easy for you to move on and to allow yourself to be happy because their energy, it just radiates like they just get you. And for you, like getting you may not mean trying to have a super deep conversation with you. Getting you may be realizing like, oh, they're in a mood, but I'm not going to internalize it. I'm going to initiate going to get some food or let's go do something, you know, let's go on a walk or let's go check out, you know, the carnival, whatever's going on, you know. So I feel like this is very much so personal. And that's another reason why it's easy for you to lean into and accept. Um... But yeah, I feel like this is meant to be, you know, destiny. Spirit for group three. <clears throat> we have the seven of swords in reverse. So when it came to whatever this old connection was, ultimately, I feel like you'll leave it in the past. Still a little bit of healing that'll be done. And I just heard privately. It's like you're, some of you are kind of healing in private. Um, and I feel like, you know, this person, they kind of know what's up. They can sense it, but they're not pushing you on it. And that's how you know you're a perfect match because they just get you and they give you the space to feel how you feel. Like so many people try to rush you to explain things to them and to give them confirmation that, you know, you're all in. Um, and I love that this person is showing up so emotionally intelligent and they're giving you the space to heal. They understand that you've lived a life outside of them and you have the right to have your own private thoughts or to have your own private feelings and to feel that without me pressuring you or being all up in your business. So this person is just being very kind with you. We have the King of Swords. Spirit, what's going on here? There may be incoming communication from another person. I keep getting this energy today. Eight of Swords in reverse, a little too too little too late. 
um, but someone is trying to come in and swoop in and lock you down. And I felt that energy to some degree for every single group today, where it's like, there's someone waiting in the wings, or as you're getting into another connection, there's this person, you know, trying to slide their way in. And it's like, what is going on in the collective? Like, it's like, a bunch of people are getting, you know, locked down right now into connections, like, destiny faded connections and very important connections and all these bugaboos are just trying to you know hop on that timeline and sneak away with someone unjustly we have the nine of wands you've really been through it with this person or nine of wands you may know that this other person coming through this king of swords wanting some communication wanting to talk to you it's just like word salad and nine of wands you know what it would mean to deal with this person maybe it's because you have already dealt with this person maybe it's an ex <clears throat> but king of swords is air energy gemini libra aquarius this person can, could have had air in their venus placement and their mars placement uh, we have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you're not investing any of your time or energy into that. Um, and to be honest, it's like the message may come through and you just may immediately block them. You're not with the foolishness. So I don't know why they thought you were with the foolishness. We have the Six of Wands and the Three of Cups in reverse. So there's an energy of you going you going through a glow up and it's like one of those glow ups where everyone you went to school with or knew from the past like hits you up in your dm like hey i see what you've been doing i've always been supporting you or hey what's up we should link it's very much so giving that three of cups in reverse is like i don't want to talk i'm not trying to chill i'm not trying to connect you just want to be a watching spirit and get up all in my business like me and you no we're not no we have the page of pentacles at the bottom of the deck so you're more open to new experiences and new investments, you want to invest your energy in a different kind of way. And you may have been sitting for a while trying to decide like, okay, what am I going to do? What am I going to get into? What's going to be my new hobby or what's going to be my new thing? We have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Nothing has really presented itself to you. So I do feel like maybe there's some sort of shared purpose with this person coming through with serious intentions, especially since it's such like a destiny kind of connection, faded kind of connection, like... <clears throat> but for some of you, this person is just going to activate you. So once you're together, certain things are going to naturally come up. And then you'll start to pursue that page of pentacles. But yeah, I don't feel like you guys want anything old. You don't want anything from the past. You kind of just want something new. And having an offer from such a great person come through and this person is in such a good energy um and just patient with you and warm with you understanding with you um and they're kind of fun it's like it makes everything else kind of fade away it makes everything else really all better so <clears throat> let's see what else we get spirit for group three Group three with the white stone. Their next surprise and love. Wow, we got the walking away card that came out and I kind of got the chills when it came out because it just felt so cold like damn, there's an ending happening here and some of you even as you listen to this video you still don't believe that you may walk away or actually end up being able to move on from someone that may be the strong at like that may be how strong their hold is on you or how long you've been connected or in such a karmic way where it feels like you couldn't have left the old version of yourself your old habits your old <clears throat> friend group circle apartment home situation and it's coming at as a surprise that everything is 
happening. And also Spirit is saying in the matter of 30 days is what I just heard. So everything is like once things get started, they're moving so fast. In a matter of 30 days, you're completely detached and have let go of this person of the past. I feel like you'll still have some emotions bubbling up very like naturally, but that's coming from like subconscious, unconscious processing, like the realms that we cannot see as above, so below, so within, so without. You start purging in your conscious mind, it's going to affect other areas uh, in your mind and in your spirit. So yeah, you're going to start crying out of nowhere, feeling emotions purge. And it's like, where is this coming from? I truly don't even know. Just allow it to happen. And, and take it as confirmation each time it happens as well. Yeah, we have indecent proposal, out of sight, out of mind, and you look good. So spirit is like, you look good. That's why. You guys may be having a physical glow up or energetically you're really seeming like a good option. This person may have even tried to pursue other options before. And it's like, now you're looking all good and delicious as they can't have you. <laughs> um, but spirit is like, yeah, they may have been sleeping on you or trying to get you to chase them at a certain point. You didn't agree to that. You wouldn't do it. You dis you disengaged and they're left there looking stuck and genuinely shook that this is how everything played out. Genuinely shook that <clears throat> you're not, you know, taking the bait or you're you're really moving away from them, not wanting to be with them. We have the real thing and lip service. So yeah, this, this feels like I was just saying that in your reading, like, don't be surprised if there's people coming back, reaching out like from school or other or earlier points in your life, like, hey, I always, you know, thought this and that you're doing great, we should link. <laughs> because there's a lot of people talking about you right now. And I do feel like that is the root of why they want to talk to you just for some sort of clout purposes or to be a watcher in your life so they can report back to everyone else who doesn't have access to you anymore what you got going on um just to be awesome just weird you know just weird so you're ditching that and we got the real thing here. That's what you're going for. We got Commander Ashtar with a call to action and Krishna with devotion. So to be honest, you are being called to be in your higher self and your wise self, but in your authoritative self. Don't allow people to check on you. Call them straight out. Like, let them know, I see you. You just want to be in my business. Keep it a thousand. Let people know, like, I see you. So they can crawl back, you know, wherever they came from. Call to action on Commander Ashtar. It says, take charge, lead by example, and walk your talk. Krishna with devotion, it says, trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognized. Ooh, I love the sound of that. And then it says, you are loved unconditionally. So there may be some gifts coming in from the ethers for you guys as well. I love this energy. Um, and yeah, that's what I have for you, group three. My Etsy shop is in the description. If you'd like a private tarot reading, that is where you can find me. But that is what I got for you today. I'll talk to you soon. All right, if you chose group four with the blue stone, this is your reading. We're gonna see your next surprise in love, spirit. This is for group four. Group four with the blue stone. Show us their next surprise in love. All right. So right away we have past life and tug of war. And I immediately felt the tug of war energy as spiritually. So this could be two very strong spiritual people trying to come together, but it's like you still have this whole timeline of human experience that you've experienced. So even though you are very connected to higher realms of consciousness, you still are having a hard time surrendering to this person because you know that they're also a human and you've had human experiences. So it's like, okay, yeah, I can tell there's something going on here. I can tell you could be very important to me, but I also have all this life experience that doesn't exactly align with surrendering to someone romantically, at least not easily or not right now. 
some sort of tug of war happening. Also, I'm feeling for a few of you, it was really hard for you to pull this person into your reality. It seemed like this manifestation had taken months to even ground to feel like you were making progress. That's how big it was for some of you. It's like you were going through the motions, doing the rituals or the spells during the moon phases, whenever you manifest, whenever you do what you do. You had been doing everything you were supposed to do, you know, consistently trying to connect to the energy, you know, stimulating yourself so you can have certain spiritual experiences, but it was so hard to like pull this person in. That's going to resonate specifically with, you know, those of you who have been manifesting, but it is a deep level connection here. I mean, we expect that with past life energy. We have the rejection card and it showed up. The way it flipped in the deck, it was so weird. It's like the card flipped and it went upside down, but it stayed facing in the same direction. So it came out like that. So I feel like the fear of rejection is real. It's like you want it to be known, but you don't want to say it out loud. And maybe that's a hard thing you're having. It's it's a hard thing you're you're having to communicate with this person like, I want to know that you're down, but I don't want to say I, I want to know what you're down because I don't want to tell you what to do. And I also don't want to have to be the one to say it. I hope I, I'm hoping you can just observe and just do how you need to do. So it's very complicated and layered. Ugh. It's like both of you are trying to bring out the truth from each other. We have the marriage card and that's exactly how it felt for me too. Like there's, um, honestly, I think it's just a matter of time. I feel like it's just a matter of time. You may be struggling on how you will live though in this life. Like maybe you're of two different lifestyles or two different religions. Like you want to live in the city, they want to live in the country. You know, or you're from two different background spiritual paths to you have two different ways of processing i feel like it's just going to be two steps forward one step back and even through that process you'll slowly but surely get to know each other not all of you have met this person yet so this is some this is what you'll experience when you do meet them so that's the beauty of it and that's what we like that's the reason you know we use tarot to tap into the future and that's the beauty of it we can you know adjust what we do and, and what we take action towards once we know what's set to happen. Um, so yeah, now that you expect it, hopefully that can save you, you know, some mental turmoil, turmoil thinking about everything. But I do see a deep level connection here. Marriage says vows of love. Deep level says deep love based connection. Past life says a past life love connection. I'm not going to read the bottoms. You guys get, you, you know what the energy is. Um, but we have rejection, waiting, forgiveness, and tug of war. So again, there's like this two steps forward, one step back energy, and slowly but surely you're kind of being broken down by the universe. And I have seen this happen to me personally in my personal life where I got this message months ago where spirit was telling me, let the universe break it down. Whether this is a person, whether it's an opportunity, let the universe break it down instead of trying to convince someone or present yourself to be the best option or the solution. Let the universe work on them. Let the universe send them the signs, the signals, the dreams, the messages, communicate with them. Let the universe open their heart and instead of trying to force their, their heart open. And then I had an experience where I just wanted someone to hurry up and agree with me because I knew I was right. And I knew that if they could just hurry up and agree, I could do what I needed to do and we can get something solved in like two seconds. Um, and I experienced in the flesh, like how if I would have pressed, it would have went so, so left and spirit was like, let me break them down. Give them a few minutes. They literally came around. We were able to go. But I was getting so frustrated trying to explain, like, dude, we need to do this now. We need to agree now so we can do this now. <clears throat> it was just to book something, if you guys are curious. I'm not trying to be, like, mysterious. Um, but anyways, yeah, so I feel like, you know, maybe you even felt like there was a rejection having to wait for this person, having them to admit what they want from this or that they want you or um to open up like maybe they're not opening up for, <laughs> quickly enough for you and spirit is definitely trying to get you out of that mind state 
where you're rejecting something because you feel like you have to wait too long for it. Um, and we have forgiveness, you know, if you step on each other's toes, you're both in the same position. So it's better to try to have, you know, compassion for them because both of you are under pressure to open up. And even if you're handling it well, cool, that's great. At least you're both not handling it well, but they're not. So let's try to give them some grace. But there is somewhat of a tug of war happening in the beginning of this relationship. Or if you already know this person, you can already feel that and see that. Spirit, their next surprise and love. Ooh. What is going on? Maybe you wanted this person before you wanted them to come through sooner. And it's like now that they're finally here, you feel like you've been taken to your breaking point. We have unavailable and played for a fool, which is really throwing me off. Um, unavailable says numb, unsure, working through emotions. Played for a fool says string along, no commitment and taken advantage of. I feel like your deepest, deepest fears are coming up and they're playing tricks on you. I really do like... It feels like you're being tormented by your thoughts. You don't want to get played. You will not get played. And that's why you have so much intention right now. That's why you've worked on yourself so much so that you didn't end up wasting your time, you know, for years with someone who didn't really want commitment, da, da, da. But I don't feel like that's at all what's going on here. Um... So I feel like you may be taking yourself out of a connection before someone else can you know, reject you. We have wish you were here, or actually it says wish you were here, and vulnerability. So there's an energy of like, I do want you though. Like, I want you to be here, but I'm telling you I'm not. I'm telling you I don't want you to be here because it's like a method of self-preservation. Vulnerability says open heart, open communication, wear your heart on your sleeve. Spirit is definitely calling you to be vulnerable right now and it's very uncomfortable. Wish you were here says yearning, got love on the brain, someone misses someone. So it's like we're in separation and we don't even need to be. You may be in separation because you blocked and stopped talking to this person because you maybe, you know, got, oh, there was another card flipped over. The let's take a break card, just as I was talking about that. Um, but yeah, you may have, you know, blocked this person or something like that. You may be having a wee bit of a breakdown in the beginning of this connection. And it's like you want them there, but <laughs> you're kind of spiraling a little bit um, in the process of like being vulnerable. It's like... Okay, you run away from it. There's a tug of war. <laughs> but I feel like you guys are matching each other's energy in different ways. So they, they're doing this in some sort of way. They may have an excuse for theirs. Like, they may use work as an excuse. Like, you know, the truth is they just don't want to have uncomfortable conversations. But they've positioned themselves to be seen as such a hard worker that... If they tell you like, oh, I'm working or I'm doing this, you'll, you'll know, you'll like, you'll stop. You'll stop proceeding with them because you know, like, their career is important or a huge priority or, you know, they're wealthy, they have a good career, they're successful, you know. So they may have an excuse for it, but I, I definitely feel a strong mirroring energy. What I'm seeing coming in and, and surprising you group for is a deep level past life love connection that's going to offer you marriage. It's going to be an opportunity for marriage. For some of you, it's going to be your first marriage offer. <clears throat> Let's see. Spirit for group four. Their next surprise in love. But it's a little bit of a rocky beginning. It's very hard for you to like <laughs> regulate yourself. What is this? We have the three of swords, the lovers in reverse, and the knight of cups in reverse. It's like, to be honest, it is looking like you're choosing pain. You're, it feels like you're punishing yourself. Like you're choosing to self-sabotage 
out of a fear of being played. <clears throat> we have the Hermit card. Maybe you really aren't, you know, ready for it. But to be honest, damn, that's deep. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. Spirit is saying not accepting this relationship is a lack of self-love. That's all it would be. Ace of Cups in reverse, just something that would hurt you, not serve you. Um, because it's like you're hiding, you know, hiding out of fear with the Three of Swords and the Hermit. Like, so deathly afraid of the past repeating itself. <clears throat> not wanting to be played by a fool or not investing in someone who's unavailable. When really it's just like they're triggered AF. A strong person who has gone, you know, through a difficult life or a life with a lot of ups and downs or pain and suffering. Just like, you know, you have or anyone else has. We all have. And so they're scared just like you are. They may be scared to offer you something or scared to approach you, especially if you go off on them every time you see each other. Like some of you, you're, you may be like, oh, that's totally unlike me, but you'd be surprised. Like when you come together with another person, you start to create a new harmony. It's like you walk around all day as your own planet. And then when you come together with another person it's like two planets colliding two planets joining together and so it creates a whole new harmony it's a whole new frequency and resonance so i hope <laughs> that you know the connection doesn't trigger you to just like be triggered all the time and going off but for some of you it is happening low-key we have the King of Cups. I feel like that's what's saving this connection. What's saving you is the fact that King of Cups, ooh, nice, with the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. I love that. Um, what's saving this is the fact that both of you have worked on your masculine energy in relation to how you love. You know, the King of Cups is the masculine aspect of the Cups suit. So, and so it's someone who's emotionally intelligent, someone who uses their logic, but also their wisdom with that Hierophant. <clears throat> so I feel like the fact that in life you learned how not to give up, they've learned that as well. So that's going to be like the superpower when it comes to this connection coming together. Because again, it's just like two heavy hitters to like a high priest and a high priestess or high priestess and high priestess, high priest and high priest. Listen. You better live your life. <clears throat> but it's like, you know, two divine beings coming together and they're both looking at each other like, I done been through this and this and this. And you're telling me that you're the woman of my dreams. <laughs> you're telling me that you can be a wife to me. You don't even know what you don't you, you don't know the surface of what I've been through. And you're looking at someone like that as well. Like you 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 think that you can. That's a bold move to say that you think that you could be a husband to say that you think you can be a life partner. You're going to provide for me? You don't even know what all of me is. You haven't even seen just how deep it gets, how spiritual it gets. It's all fun and games until <laughs> I'm having dreams and I'm having visions and I'm seeing you at work. And then you call them and you're like, I see you drinking that energy drink. What, what are you doing? I thought you said you were quitting that. And they're like, yo, are you stalking me right now? And you're like, no, it's just my vision. How do you explain to someone it's just your vision? You know? So it's all fun and games until it's spiritual AF in this, in this piece. Um, and, you know, and then now everyone's in distress and shocked. They don't know what to do. So anyways, we have the Ace of Wands in reverse. I see spirit really kind of bringing you together. Um, and I feel like that's how it's going to have to be because Ace of Wands in reverse, it's like all the intention that you could try to set in the world. If you don't have that higher power backing you up, you're just kind of like shooting in the dark, trying your best without the revelation. So I feel like that's a good thing that spirit is in the lead. We have the page of wands in reverse and the eight of pentacles. Spirit is saying, don't worry about knowing all the answers right now. Just allow things to unfold. And when it's time, put in that work, eight of pentacles. Like all you need to do is just keep going through it. You know, spirit is saying, don't obsess about the outcome. But what if they play me for a fool? What if they're unavailable? 
Spirit is really not wanting you to focus on the outcome. We got the Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Spirit is saying your energy is way better managed being focused on what's right in front of you, what's on your plate for you to deal with. And Page of Swords, there's an energy of being humble, which can be very hard for high priests, high priestesses, people who have gone through a lot of life, learned a lot of things. Um, because it can be hard to surrender to something when you have been the like the 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 one navigating all of this and doing all that hard work and standing ten toes so there is also an element of you kind of surrendering to the higher power and allowing oh that's why this was flipped over um allowing spirit to take the lead this was flipped over from um group two i didn't use this deck on you yet so i'm going to use this now um Let's see what else is going on. Spirit for group four. We have happy family and synchronicity. So I see you guys being very activated. Also synchronicity, that lightning energy. Um, I'm really seeing that being significant for some of you. Things may happen very quickly or things may be very jarring, very quick moving and like unexpected. Um, so you may be married in less than a year. <clears throat> we have the self-love card. So if you're someone who's about actionables, you like to take action, you like to have something to do, focus on that self-love. And specifically when it comes to like developing your spiritual gifts, that is definitely a form of self-love because it keeps you from experiencing so much pain because now you have spiritual gifts where you can kind of have, you know, instant help come through, instant manifestations. And also the revelation and downloads of what's going on, direction, it, it'll make things a lot better for you. We have too tough, so I just feel like this relationship is too tough to try to handle on your own and try to make happen. Huge, huge element of surrender coming up. <laughs> Not... <laughs> We have get off your high horse and let love in. <laughs> so spirit is saying like, try not to bite people's head off. Let love in, allow yourself to be loved. We have respect my space in the mask. Like there is a deep rooted coming out from multiple decks by multiple different authors. None of these decks actually have the same author. Um, multiple energies of you kind of like blocking someone off before they can block you up, block you off because of fear with this mask card that they're not being authentic or showing up as their real self respect my space that they want to invade your privacy and your aura and your life but that's what's coming together that's just the truth of coming together so i feel like like i said as long as you present in the moment page of swords handle things as they come you're going to be fine we have stuck to you like glue so spirit is also saying this couldn't miss you even if you wanted to, the opportunity will be presented to you, period. And we have invitations, so I love that. That is an energy of something coming towards you. We have the Too Much on My Mind card that's flipped over. Um, so I feel like, again, focusing on decompressing, on meditating so you can clear your energy as you're in meditation, being intentional with your meditation time and that connection you have to source. And strengthening that and allow this to just naturally float through. And that's what I got for you, Group 4. My Etsy shop is in the description. If you'd like your own private tarot reading, that is where you can find me. But that is what I have for you today. I'll talk to you soon.